So in the DAS-like structure, the main difference from the monolithic structure that I showed you earlier is that the red line separating the application from the operating system is now replaced by a dotted line. What that means, the main difference is there is no hard separation between the address space of the application and the address space of the operating system. The good news is an application can access all the operating system services very quickly as they would any procedures that they may execute within their own application with the same speed at memory speeds an application can make calls into the operating system and get system services that's the good news but the bad news is that there is no protection of the operating system from an errant application so the integrity of the operating system can be compromised by a runaway application either maliciously or unintentionally corrupting the data structures that are in the operating system. Now you may wonder why DOS chose this particular structure. Well, at least in the early days of PC, it was thought that a personal computer, as the name suggests, is a platform for a single user. And more importantly, the vision was there will be exactly one app that is running at a time not even multitasking. So performance and simplicity was the key and protection was not the primary concern in the DOS-like structure. And that you can get good performance comes from the very simple observation that there is no hard separation between the application and the operating system. The operating system is not living in its own address space. The application and the operating system are in the same address space and therefore making a system call by an application is going to happen as quickly as the application would call a procedure which the application developer wrote himself or herself.